All right, everybody, today we're going to be checking out how we can creatively use the new Mario items, which you can buy on the promotional tab on the Nook Store shopping app or at the terminal. And this episode is going to be focused on the floating blocks. So as you can see here, there is a duck in the tree, and this illusion is probably one of my favorite of all of them. You can see that there is an actual floating block behind the tree. And the way you just do this is you go as close to behind the tree as you can and place a floating block with an item on top. Now you can place any item that's one block wide. So a gnome, a, like a, a duck, a plant, a butterfly, model, those all work. And here's the same thing with a butterfly model. It looks like the butterfly is like floating on the tree and it looks like the gnome is kind of standing on the tree, which I love. The next thing I want to show you is some city buildings that are connected together through the floating blocks. So what I'm going to do is make uh, two platforms with some hedges and you know, you could put anything up here. You could even put like seating and make this a bus stop, but you can put anything on the floating blocks just like this. So I'm putting some butterflies down and the hedges kind of make it look like the blocks connect. So here are some butterfly models with some plants on top. And you can see it kind of looks like a city high rise that's connected through a roof and it's like a little tunnel now. One thing to note about these is you can't actually place any items under it and also you can't put a path under it either. So you'll need to put your paths down first and then put the floating blocks over it. And they also are a little bit annoying to place as well, but this is a really cool design where you just have some trees that make it look like the blocks are standing up. I feel like that's the goal of this, is to make it look like the blocks are standing on, not on their own. They're like, they're not floating, they're connected somehow. So that's kind of what the main focus of this video is, to make it look like the blocks aren't floating, but they're naturally being used. Next up, I want to show you how to make a custom cave or a little bit of a cove. So I've set up a kind of brackets terraformed cliff pattern here and I'm just going to go ahead and put some blocks on all of the edges and you could even put like butterfly models or whatever you want to put on the blocks you could put some lanterns as well I'm just putting some butterfly models I figure I'll make it a butterfly cave so after it's all said and done I put some paths down and I'm putting some floating blocks just in between all of the gaps we have in this little building so you can either make it a building or a cave whatever you want to make it and I figured you could actually place these blocks pretty efficiently by just moving up one tile under it you see how I'm directly under the blocks as I'm placing them that is probably a really good practice uh, because you misplace blocks way less that way you could also place items Pretty much anywhere, even if you're under another block, it'll still go up to the blocks. So you can have like a giant roof and still be placing items on it. And then we just finish it off with some simple panels and we have kind of a building. Pretty cool. You can't place anything in here because none of the items can be placed under the blocks. It's because it takes up an item space technically. Another thing you can do is using this tree trick to make it look like the blocks are standing. You can go ahead and put some throwback containers up here. And if you do uh, enough of them, it kind of looks like a train track. You can also use the new lamp item as well as the festival lamps to make this beautiful train track. All right, the next thing I wanted to show you is some indoor decorating with the floating blocks. Now, you, remember, you can't place anything under the floating blocks but you can make it look like it's standing by placing it against the wall and then using kind of a wooden bookcase. Now you can't place any solid items under the floating blocks. However, you can place something on the wall under the floating blocks. So I'm using a wall mounted TV to show that you can kind of display items under it and make it look like a little roof. And you'll notice on top of the roof, we have some stack of books, mom's tea set a candle a mini cactus set and you know just a table that's in between us so it looks really nice and cozy it goes well in any small room 
Next up, I want to show you how you can make an outdoor house with these floating blocks. So what you'll do is customize some simple panels with whatever shop pattern you want. I'm just using this bread pattern I got by searching bread in Able Sisters. And I'm placing down a fireplace with a podium. And if I just turn this podium around and put a fax machine on top, it is a shop now, technically. The simple panels make it look like there's a little bit of a roof. And you could even put some antique clocks or even bookcases on the side to make it look like it's standing to give the shop a border, which I think would look pretty cool too if you wanted to take it that route. The next thing I want to show you is how you can use these antique clocks to make it look like the blocks are being supported by some wooden beams to make it look like an overhang or a, a brick roof. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a natural square table with some natural garden chairs and maybe some food on top and then just put some antique clocks next to it and then you put the floating blocks in front of the table to make it look like there's a roof on top of you as you're eating that's protecting you and i feel like you can make a really cool city build i'm looking forward to seeing some city builds using these new floating blocks because I think the cities are about to get a whole lot uh, crazier. Also, I just wanted to take you through the pain of placing these floating blocks down because as you can see, it is very difficult. Even if you have a solid strategy of placing them down, you still mess up just like me. But yeah, here's the finished product. You can see from this angle, it does look like I'm going to sit down to eat some food. Very nice. Very nice. And that is pretty much it. You can also make a pretty cool tunnel if you just have a bunch of these floating blocks down and you're looking at it from far away. It really looks like there's tunnels in Animal Crossing now. Anyway, that's it for this episode of using the Mario items. I'm going to be making more episodes using more of the items like the pipes, the one-ups, the mushrooms, just different design ideas that you can do with all of those types of furniture. But if you like this video and you want to see more of them, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.